Hi, my name is Dan Riles. Last year, I was introduced to the FIRO robot uh, at an event. A group of mine invited the makers of FIRO to come and explore how it could be used in classroom or at home. I am a 21-year veteran in ed elementary education, and I was very excited by this product. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, I look forward to using it in my own classroom. I have been a first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade teacher. Uh, and for the last six years, I am a technology specialist. Um, FIRO, FIRO really puts together a lot of the changes that have been happening in physical programmable devices over the last several years. Uh, several robots are out there for early childhood with onboard controls the students can use to program the device directly. Some other devices have uh, input from cards or wooden blocks that the robot can be used so that there's no screen involved and students don't have additional screen time, uh, can be more language independent, and FIRO's use of cards with a card reader that are color-coded similar to Scratch leads nicely on to using FIRO's ability to be programmed by Scratch and then move on to Arduino and even pocket code. So in one package, FIRO does what a whole lot of other systems do individually. So it really helps to bring all those together in one package, make it more cost effective for the classroom and give the students kind of a familiar base from with which to work and evolve as they evolve as learners. Um, in addition, you know, FIRO connects to Legos and connects and it has all those different capabilities that allows it to continue expanding as the students have more developmentally capable, more developmental capabilities uh, to use. Um, I invited um, Deepti to my classroom after that event to share FIRO and the progress and the process of taking a concept into reality and my students were very excited and I, I love the opportunity for them to interact with someone in the field who's working every day to make programming and robotics accessible to all students um, and who could explain it so clearly to my students. Um, and I look forward to continuing that relationship and I really look forward to getting FIRO and um, making it a backbone, a uh, core element of my teaching practice with my students. Um, you know, from pre-K through fifth grade, there is a place for FIRO to be a very effective uh, part of the um, technology curriculum.